Hey Legionnaires and welcome back, we're here with another Road to Siege Battle for you today and we have a glorious 3v3 here on Alexandria, we have the Egyptians defending their home and their capital and they've called upon some unlikely allies to help them, we have the Aravaki and we have the RDI defending in this one and we already have the Aravaki general going out on a ballsy little charge here going after some night hunters as uh, the spear unit but it is a decent charge here and I mean really the speed is on top of the tower still coming down. They're not getting any bonuses there against cavalry. And uh, you can see there the noble cavalry already winning that decisively. We'll put up the HUD so you guys can see how many kills these guys are racking up. Already a, a cool 24 and they should get a few more here soon. But the night hunters seem like they're going combat even now. And uh, that might actually start to uh, not go in favor of the noble cab. And they might want to get their general out of there soon. But yes we also have a bit of a sally out going on here as well with... Uh, Scutiari and also Bale Eric Slingers uh, selling out as well. But yeah, this general's been staying here way too long now. He is losing slightly, and there you go. He finally sees sense of the Araki general, and he pulls him out. And those night hunters definitely, I feel like, you know, did their job in the end. You know, it was not a great unit to sally out on, really, but he did it. He did do it. And it looks like over on this side here, we're going to see more Swaby uh, with the club levy here. They're going to set up these uh, tortoises, and they're going to try and knock down some holes in the wall. But yes, the attackers today, we have a very strange uh, alliance with Massalia, Swaby, and Carthage. I'd say certainly Swaby and Carthage, some solid attacking forces. Massalia, not so much. I feel like they're really only going to rely on mainly the Thorax, and if they had brought any Celtic units, sort of said them. But they've got a lot of spears of, like, Massalia and Thurios. It's not a bad build, but it's not, like, it's not the faction I think of when I go to attackers. So, yeah, but we have Massalia here, which will be fun to see them in action. A bit of a change. And it looks like uh, they're actually trying to knock down a bit of the wall over here. It's at 54%. And Egypt has an Egyptian infantry up here. It's already taken a lot of casualties. Nearly um, like about 40. And I think that's just from standing on this wall, I'd imagine. Yeah, they're already uh, getting ready. And uh, yeah, the wall is about to come down here. Club Levy are about to knock down that part of the wall. They're going to make a big breach here. And this is looking like it's going to be the main sort of assault. Probably for Masali and Swavy Carthage. Looks like he's kind of just waiting, I don't know, for the paint to dry on Alexandria's walls. I'm really not sure. He needs to get up to these uh, siege pieces and probably start landing and knocking down walls. It looks like Aravaki is going to continue with his sally out here. His Scutiari and his slingers are kind of blocking off this point here. And I don't really know what his plan is. I guess maybe he's going to uh, just threaten these siege equipment here. If, if Carthage lands, he's then going to just go maybe go swinging and attack them kind of turn it into a land battle or maybe he just wants to defend this line here and then use his slingers inside the settlement uh, and on the wall like on the walls here to try and you know support that sort of fight which would be a bad play it's still a risky one though you know playing as a defender and fighting outside the walls is always risky and here we go the walls have been destroyed it looks like looks like they are going to try and destroy this final bit i don't know if they'll be able to usually you can't destroy like if you knock down a bit immediately next to it it's usually quite hard to knock down the other bit but we'll see they might be able to do it Rome 2 is always a bit funny sometimes, I feel like with walls being knocked down. But yes, it's always going to be back in Rome 2. And you guys seem to be enjoying it recently. So yeah, if you want to see more Rome 2 on the channel, and uh, yeah, want to see more epic siege battles, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, guys. Feel free to uh, leave a comment as well to show your support. And there you go. Uh, yeah, they, that, I was about to say that tiny little bit of the stale, but it did not it did collapse entirely. So there you go, they did get that large breach that they wanted through siege equipment and also... Uh, the Ballista, so that's good for them. Masali, looks like he's also going to be landing a whole fleet of towers, maybe, or maybe he's just going to use them for cover. Uh, it probably is going to be the latter, I imagine. A lot of these cheesy players rely on getting your men really close without losing too many of them. Here we go, we've got Illyrian Marines going in as the these are. These Marines, the Illyrian Spearmen, they're even cheaper. And they're going in against Club Levy here. So yeah, RDI getting in the first bit of action inside the settlement. RDI really relies on its marines, uh, which are really just back here. Really, we've got like the three of spears and also the marines. They're pretty decent. They have a lot of javelins. That's how you have to use them. Uh, you just use all of your missiles, all your javelins to try and do as much damage as possible, and then uh, you send them into melee because the spears are not going to win on their own. And you can see here, I think they're trying to destroy this coliseum. I think it does. You can see they're collapsing some of the things around it. Do not know what they're trying to aim for, really. And we've got uh, Illyrian Hoplites as well. Really solid spear units there that they can hold the line for a little while as well. And we're going to see these guys form into square. I don't know if that was really the right idea because it's just allowing the club levy to jabby them. It seems like a bit of a waste here from the RDI player, but we'll see what he does. He 
can see there. Look at that rank on rank of uh, Illyrians getting mowed down. This replay was sent in by a member of my Discord. So if you uh, ever want to send in any of your own Rome's replays, if you've got some that you think, Pope, you need to check these out. These are pretty epic. Feel free to join my Discord. The link is down below in the description, as always. And you can uh, send in your replays, and I'll try and feature them on the channel when I get a chance. Because I'm always looking for more Rome 2 replays. Always really fun to do. And this, uh, yeah, Spin is about to break here. It's going to get surrounded and mopped up there by the Club Levy. Is it really just a Club Levy spam by... No, it's not. I thought it was maybe going to be a Club Levy spam by... Um, Sway bit, but it's not. We have got like a, a generic army, an actual army. We've got Berserkers here, we've got Swordmasters here, we've got some Kimberly Bow women. And uh, yeah, that, that's good to see. Uh, I did wonder. We had a lot of Club Levy going in, but he's, uh, these are actually some of these Blood Sworn as well. And they're really solid uh, units, to be honest. They'll hold on for a long, long time. They're fighting up against Egyptian infantry, which should be an easy kill for them, really. These guys have pretty decent melee attack. I mean, they, yeah, going up against Egyptian infantry with 14, they have 38 doubling them and they're going in for some Illyrian levies as well trying to take these guys out which a 28 melee attack between the two of these units that you hopefully should overwhelm them. these blood swarm these mad Germans are going in as hard as they can trying to just break these front lines they've defeated the Romans in the Tudenberg forest they can defeat these Illyrians in uh, Alexandria We've already got elites coming up. We've got Illyrian hoplites already been set up. I mean, I say elites. These aren't the elites. The elites are just a lot better than some of the other stuff that RDI can bring. He's sending these guys in. These uh, noble hoplites, I believe, are the best. Which, uh, yeah, he's got none of them back here. I imagine he's got his generals in Illyrian noble hoplite. Yeah, there we go. I always forget that they're, the Illyrian hoplites aren't the best, but they're pretty solid still. We've got the Illyrian noble hoplites, which are the best. I imagine we've just got like a lot of, yeah, like Thorax here, we've got three of Spears, uh, three of Spears, got some more Egyptian infantry, oh, they're really shelling Egypt here, to be fair, he is blobbing up quite a bit, he needs to try and spread his fellas out, we've got Cretan archers there as well, need to get them being used, and we've got some more Cretans back here as well, and uh, yeah, nothing like pikes or anything like that, really, for, uh, for Egypt, which I thought they might bring, maybe just to try and slow down the attackers in some areas, but it doesn't seem like they're bothering and also don't think the attackers have got any of themselves either, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, no, they do. They have one over here, or two African pikemen. So, yeah, the uh, attackers have that card in their sort of roster if they want to use that and try and, you know, a different style to try and break through. But, yeah, there you go. Bloodsworn finally being taken out by some Celtic warriors there of RDI. I think they're just going to carry on. They're going to throw their javies in and go in for the next wave, which is... Masali and Thurios. And they should deal with these guys with the Thurios Spears. It's a very weak Celtic sword. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's still a uh, Illyrian Thurios here. I don't know if it's still got ammo. I think it does. Yeah, they're still throwing Javis. Just need to, you know, get good angles and just try and inflict as much damage as possible. And what we've got here Celtic Warriors again, more Illyrian Hoplites. The Illyrian Hoplites are winning, like, hand over fist. They've killed quite a lot. 127 kills already and going up. They've killed a lot of these, like, Club Levy sort of units already. They don't really want to push on because the Kimberly Bow women are waiting. And they really want uh, to fight these Messiah Hoplites. Uh, well, one of the attack is to fight them here, like, against the Messiah and Thurios. They want them to carry on so they can side shot with the archers. That would be, uh, I imagine, what they're trying to do. Another breach has been opened up here by Massalia. He's done a very naughty tactic of using the... Uh, Sea Chow is here to block any sort of archer shooting into uh, the units waiting around here. He's kind of making a bit of a compound for his units just to sort of get ready and uh, un and like kind of go into the city. So he just is trying to, you know, give his troops as much safety as possible when entering the city. And uh, by knocking down this bit of the wall here, he's also going to get around this defense, which to be honest isn't very hard line. It's just a very weak defense being thrown up here. I don't know why the Illyrians got thrown in. They should just fall them back when they realized what Masali's doing, they should have just given ground. No, no point fighting and dying here. I mean, the Illyrian Marines are going to throw in their javies. Getting good side shots into this uh, Masali and Thurios here. Doing some good damage to that. So they might actually, you know, kill off a few of those. But don't send in any more troops into this sort of fight here. Just let these Illyrian Thurios spears die. 
Because Masale is arriving, and look at all these Thorax swords here waiting. My gosh, there are so many. Imagine an artillery piece hitting that. Could do some serious damage. Carthage, by the way, is matching up against Aravaki outside the city walls. Don't think they're going to really go in for a fight, but he's, I think he's just being a defensive flank. And just, he's worried about this, this uh, sort of Sally here. There's not a lot, Ray, from Aravaki. If Aravaki was good now, like a good player, he'd send the rest of his troops and go and support his allies. And then they can kind of turn this defense into a two and a half versus two. Because Carthage is busy doing stuff elsewhere. He kind of is already. Here we go. He's in the Aravaki already been sent over here. Scutiari. He needs to send the rest of his troops over as well. Like, Carthage has been distracted by a very small sally force. A very small portion of that Aravaki army. Scutiari should really cut through these blood swarms. We've actually got troops now arriving on the walls as well. I think they're just trying to science the ballista here, which I imagine is used all this ammunition. We've got more Iberians on the wall here. Some Iberian spears. But uh, Carthage is also not giving up entirely on this attack. He is sending some Samnites in this direction as well and some Libyans. It looks like he uh, is aware that it's not going to be an entire army selling out over there, which is good to see. He's not falling for that. And then we've got Celtic Warriors here getting shot. I think they I look, if they fight on the walls there, I don't know if this is really in the defender's benefit to do so. We'll see. But then Masai and Hoplites fighting off against the Thorax Swords now of Egypt. This is definitely going in favor of the defenders. And we'll see how they uh, they do in this one here. I mean, the Thorax, not great, very heavy infantry, but in this game, it seems like they're going to be one of the nasty units. And there you go. They're going to fall back, actually. They're giving a bit of ground. And um, Masali's bringing up a lot more Thurius uh, Spears, which is why he's falling back. And you can see already here some uh, Levy Freeman breaking easy kills there for Thorax. But they are now trying to break through this choke point here, which they've opened up. Again, it's Thorax. Looks like taking on more Thorax. It's just, it's just what they're bringing, just a load of Thorax. And they're using a lot of javelins here, are the defenders, to try and just, you know, give themselves the edge in this fight here. It's not a bad idea, but... You don't want to use all the uh, Javis up on just the first Thorax units as he come through the breach. And it looks like, yeah, there's Illyrian Hoplite here. Oh, this is a new one, so I think the other one must have died. Must have fully died here. Yeah, it looks like he might have. RIP those fellas. The Hoplites going in here. They're not waiting around. They don't want to get charged or shot by uh, these Javis. They want to minimize the amount of Javis being used by the attackers. Illyrian Hoplites just going to keep poking away. Get organized. The fight on the wall. Eh, it looks like, yeah, I was going to say, I imagine it's going in favor of the Blood Swarm. These Celtic Warriors aren't that great. I mean, you could say Swaby probably have some of the best light melee infantry. These, these guys are 38 melee attack to 27. I mean, they've got more kills, these Celtic Warriors. Imagine they've been fighting elsewhere as well. Both sides losing in that fight. As it goes in war, everyone turns into a loser. Thorax here getting sent in again, but they're getting focused down by missiles. That's uh, archers outside the wall here, Celtic, uh, or Gallic hunters, I should say. They're firing in, and also looks like a lot of javis being used by the Masali and Thurios. Masali, I don't know if he pulled through, if he's just got another unit here that's just sneak through, but he's uh, nearly got through the breach. You can see Masali is sending more and more Thorax in. Egypt is, I think, cycle charging a little bit. We've got Iberian swords now arriving to do some do some work as well. Masali is certainly making a bit of progress, but it also does help that the defenders are giving him some ground. Illyrians fighting in here against the Masalians. Hopefully, they use all the jabbies before they went in these Marines. We've got more Marines over here waiting. You don't want to like stand behind a unit. Uh, and Javi, you want to try and get side shots. I think, hopefully these guys have used all their ammo. Already a Messiah, I mean, he's kind of falling back a little bit. He's still got four units of thorax, uh, five units of thorax to send through that breach. So still got plenty of reserves there. And now Carthage is sending in some infantry as well. I think it's uh, those Samnites going in. 
So he's pulling in some reserves into this area, but the defenders are plenty left themselves. Lots of uh, hot plates still waiting. Egypt's still got a lot of troops and all his archers really to commit. And we have got a uh, scorpion over here, a Greek scorpion that's been firing. He's got 26 kills. I don't know what it's been firing into. There's not really anything which is, a, I'd say, a clean shot at the attackers. There you go, the Marines going in again, rushing these Messiah and Thurios. See, can win this one. I don't know. I would say numbers wise, probably not. You get some good side shots. I mean, the Thorax get thrown in, but they're going to need more Thorax over here. I don't think this fight is, this area that they're fighting in is really good for the defenders. They should probably pull back a bit. Try and use uh, these streets a little bit more. Try to try and make it harder for the archers to get side shots and back shots, which I think they are doing a lot more. Fighting in this sort of square that you're seeing here. And we also got Kimberly Bow Women now going onto the wall. I think they're going to start shooting inside the settlement. And yeah, they're actually shooting it across from one wall onto another, doing as much damage as possible to the Illyrian Marines here. They're still fighting on these walls. Those guys are actually waiting on the on the wall, but I think it's because that blood swarm's already been in one battle. And there you go, they've actually cleared out that choke point for the moment. I have the defenders. There are probably going to be more units going in there very soon, but for now they've got a little bit of respite. They're sending reserves over here to try and deal with the Massalians. Storia spears kind of cut off from their allies. Uh, I think they're going to try and pull back. It's going to cost them quite a few troops though. And there you go, yeah, lose them decisively, and that goes sub 100. And it looks like Egypt's trying to do the same here, trying to get his thorax out of, out of uh, this hellhole. The Germans not allowing it, and they're going to bat these guys down with the uh, blood sworn here. Advanced power, it's still looking pretty even. I'd say maybe ever so slightly in favor of the attackers. We are seeing as this battle progresses more and more Aravaki and more and more RDI being shifted towards the danger zone, the big breach points over here. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see whether they continue to persist in these fights at these uh, choke points of fighting and we are just seeing more Aravaki go in, some Iberian swordsmen. I don't think it is. I don't think these are great spots for the uh, defenders to be defending. The archers aren't getting great angles, uh, but the attacking ones definitely are. I mean, these Kimberly bow women up here. Would have just fire from here down into the fights below. Definitely an influence in those in favor of the attackers. They are also getting shot quite a bit, it looks like, because they're down to 78 out of 120. So they must be taking some decent loss, uh, getting shot from somewhere. The wall fight there being won by the Illyrian Marines, and it looks like I guess they could now come off the wall if they wanted to flank this current fight going on down here against the Blood Swarm. Fighting Illyrian noble hoplites, so yeah, these are some elites being sent in by Illyria. Organize yourself. Do your best. All right. Carthage sending in his Samnites, probably one of the better units here today. They have 36 melee attack. They've got really good armor in 95. I imagine the, uh, some of the better units, so uh, presumably they would have brought them the Mercenary Noble Fighters, but they had not that they have brought any. Libyan's also pretty good, 41 melee attack, probably some of the highest melee attack here. We've got a late Libyan hotplate as well being brought. Bizarre to see that being brought, but okay. So it's an okay unit, but nothing exciting. That's going to get sent in very soon. I'd imagine. Keep sending those boys in, keep... Keep sending men into the meat grinder. Eventually they'll break through this hoplite line. But if they want to make this really easy on themselves, I was going to say, Swaby looks like he's about to do it now. He's setting up uh, Kimberly Bowman. He needs to just send, start shooting to the backs of these Illyrian hoplites here. 
You can change that fight around. But actually, shooting the Bellex thing is on the wall. That is probably his pressing concern because they can just shoot down with a lot more ease onto these uh, bow women down here. And, yeah, these slingers should just uh, sort of focus on the bow women and get them off the battlefield. But yeah, the attackers seem to find ways with angles, and then they can just try and shoot those Illyrian hoplites. Get rid of them there. I mean, like, 104 kills, 78 of them left, winning decisively. Not looking good there. We've actually got a sally out here by RDI. RDI sallied out with some Iberian swords. Just to disrupt the thorax here, I guess, a little bit. Maybe just, you know, make them rethink what they're going to do. Maybe just see if the Messiah player is paying attention. And it seems like he was. And it looks like yeah, Masai is bringing in the rest of his thorax. He's, instead of coming through this breach, he's gone for the main breach here. So this breach has kind of been made redundant here by Masai. It's obviously still an option for later on in the game, but it's not going to be a uh, problem for now. And there you go, a sally out by the Noble Cav again. And they've routed these Kimberly Bow women. And that is a win there, I feel like, for the uh, Aravaki. They've managed to get rid of some very annoying units. The Bow women are very good. And there you go. I mean, they, I said they got rid of them. They haven't actually entirely. The Aravaki general does need to be careful. He's down to 48 men. It's been very aggressive. It's worked in a few cases, but it's taken a lot of losses. More Javis coming in. This Club Levy going in now against Iberian Swords. They're going to rush on in. Do what damage they can. Again, Masai, I think Masai is trying to attack from both sides, you know, trying to attack this cho uh, this uh, breach point from inside the city, try and hit these uh, these units that are defending it there, and also attack from outside. So I imagine now that they've scared off the Iberians, they're going to counter charge and try and charge these Iberians in the back and then support the fight that they are currently in inside the city with a thorax against a thorax. I don't know who's going to win, but my money's on the thorax. Okay, so the replay did crash, but we're pretty much back to where we left off. So, um, they're still fighting for this choke point here where we kind of left off with the first half um, of that battle there. Uh, they're pretty much both sides have killed each other off. Uh, and now you can see Masalia did actually get side out on again by Egypt this time. Um, and uh, he's kind of just sort of counter-charging. The Illyrian defense over here has been destroyed. Uh, the Berserkers kind of came around the back to rear charge and killed them off. And now the defense is relying on the Illyrian general here to try and hold on. We'll see how he does. And uh, yeah, it does seem as though the defenders are throwing everything they have to hold here. Balance Pass is pretty even at this point. It's pretty much down. Masai is pretty much out of infantry. He's got a couple of Thorax left and that's about it. Uh, and also Swaby's only got, I think, one or two Swordmasters left ready to go. Maybe a third actually there. And then he's got his general, which is a wooden and spear. Uh, so he's got a couple of units of infantry left, but not too much either. It's really going to be down to Carthage with all of his infantry here to really seize the day and victory if he's going to do it. He's got the African Pikes by the looks of it going in that direction. They're going to be sent on in. And it looks like also we're going to see uh, Aravaki send over some more troops maybe onto the wall here just to keep pestering. These uh, attackers here, it looks like some Iberian Spears maybe going up there. And maybe also some bear legs things, I think, to solve. You know, I think the Iberian Spears are merely just a shield. And then the uh, bear legs things are going to go up onto the wall, maybe. And then start shooting from inside. That would be a very nice little move. All the Iberians are going to come down the wall and try and get these uh, Kimberly Bow women here. Which also would be a very na naughty little move. But yeah, it looks like Aravaki's on the offensive again somewhere else. He's got his Kutiari going in here. Is he going on these late Libyan hoplites, which I don't think they're going to do too much. Right 
So see how these guys do. Come on, boys. The defenders need you. And oh, some nice rear shots here. That is very good from the Thuriel Spear unit. Rear shots into those Libyan hoplites. While the Thorax hold the line here, they're going to have to fight off against Swordmaster if they're going to give this a good go. We'll see, and actually the Swordmaster change targets. And they're going to rear shot those Thuriel Spears there. And that's a bad thing, really. And you can see the Thorax is going to get a good counter charge. The Swordmasters might have got themselves a little isolated here. And a little cut off. There you go, the late, late Libyans broke off their other fight and they've helped dealt with those uh, Illyrian Thurios and it looks like the Skuchari have also going to get routed up by Libyan infantry. Now it's down to these mobile, fight, uh, mobile hoplites here to hold the line and uh, I think the plan is to just, so yes, use these guys to hold and then they're going to side shoot with the uh, Illyrian marines here. As you can see they're getting ready, Javelin's poised, they're going to try and throw it and they need to just make sure they don't friendly fire their own hoplites here. There you go, the shots start to go in. We'll see where these Libyans start to drop. They are kind of actually turning the Noble Hoplite. Um, well, they're trying, I think, trying to get a better angle. There you go, that's the angle they need. That's perfect there. This is exactly the sort of shots they need to be getting. And now, really, the attack is to counter this. They just need to send in a second unit. Send in a second unit of anything. Libyan Hoplites, and then just attack over here. And then it'll just cut off that angle. So the, the defenders can't use it anymore. These Libyans are just going to get murdered, I think. They're actually going to protect with a, a Libyan noble hoplite there. They're going to send in the bare leg slingers. I hope, ho hopefully, they're out of ammo. Get running. Well, that's an expensive unit to send in. Warriors, move out. And the fighting in this uh, sort of courtyard here still goes on. Late Libyan hoplites are winning that fight. Thorax are losing against Gutiari. The uh, Iberians here doing their best. Still to be a pest. And yeah, there's actually a unit of uh, Egyptian ho uh, thorax hoplites, thorax hoplites, thorax swordsmen outside the uh, the walls here waiting. I don't know whether it's just a flank and uh, attack over here. Doubt it. Whether it's waiting for a, a counter assault here and they want to then counter charge. Or maybe the place has forgotten about them. More than likely that is the uh, the correct answer here. More Scutiari getting charged by Libyan infantry. These guys should really be fighting side by side against Rome. But said today they're fighting against each other. Thorio Spears here. Also going in. I think they're trying to pull back. I don't know what the idea is. They're trying to pull back. What the Satic is. Now these Thorio Spears here of uh, Egypt are now fighting the, the Libyans. And I feel like they're less cut out for the job. Spear infantry is not going to be the ones to uh, hold the line. Chari would have a better chance. Yeah, actually, there you go. Egypt did try to sally around for a little bit, whether he was trying to just cut these Gallic Hunters or what. Again, there's still a standoff here by Libya, sorry, by Carthage, and by uh, Aravaki. And I think finally, someone's blinked, and it's going to be Aravaki. The Scutiari and the Belix thing is coming back inside, and the general. And that is going to allow Carthage to send his troops over here to actually get involved in the main siege. Bounce pass looking very even at this point. <laughs> Fighting in these uh, sort of like trees here. In the shade of the walls of Alexandria. Still hot work. It's going to keep fighting until one of them drops dead. Looks like this Gutiari are winning it ever so slightly. I think Archer fire coming in from the defenders is really helping there. We've got some, I don't think it's slow thing as yeah, the Cretan archers over there supporting ever so slightly. And Scutiari managed to surround the Libyans here. I think they just pulled out of the combat they were in and then just rear charged. A little risk, 
sacrifice there, but it worked. And it looks like we're going to see the Thorax come back inside the city here. They're going to challenge the Libyan infantry. Fire! Carthage still hasn't realized that the standoff's over. He's keeping his troops out here longer than he needs to. That might cost him. And the Pikes still haven't moved in either. They need to uh, get inside the city. Maybe they're waiting till the last minute when uh, hopefully for him, the attackers are out of ammo. Oh, sorry, the defenders are out of ammo. A lot of javelins have been used, so probably a lot of uh, missile just ammunition altogether has been used up. We'll just see how they can do. They're just kind of waiting in the streets, staring at each other, waiting for something to, uh, to give. And it looks like we've got uh, it's the thorax. They, oh, they're being chased. I thought they were chasing the uh, Carthaginians, but the Carthaginians are in fact chasing the Egyptians. And they've run into another wall of the Spanish. Scutiari are going to battle against these guys now. The Libyans looking low on numbers. But they aren't going to give up without a fight. And you can see the Archfire there absolutely murdering those Libyans. I think that's down to, yeah, three men left. They broke. Oof. And there he goes. Front of here, I don't think he's looking good at all. For the attackers, they're going to need to send some fresh troops here or just give up on this area. I don't know if it's going to work. Got a Royal Thorax Swords unit as a general here for Egypt. Interesting choice, but I don't often see him being brought that stage. Royal Thorax is just about as good as uh, Royal Peltas, and you don't get uh, and you get less shots, like with javelins, with the Royal Thorax. He's already lost 40 of them, presumed to missiles. They are now trying to counter the uh, Kimberly bow women. They definitely need to be trying to take these uh, ladies out here. They're very like missile bow infantry. They're probably the easiest units to take out around. I mean, so are these are very light as well. All the uh, I feel like these guys have more ammo though. The Kimberly bow women have like yeah, ten armor. Yeah, and the uh, Cretans have thirty. So they have three times as much. It's definitely easier to take out those Kimberly bow women. There you go, another charge. Got a very weak Libyan hot pipe being sent in. Scutiari should munch through these guys. It looks like Velex things also been said in. This is uh, never a good sign for a defender when. Your archers and missiles generally are running out of ammo, but it looks like that is the case here. Yeah, he's finally actually got his uh, Royal Thorax just to be sort of by the wall this way. You just want to keep him just protected out of harm's way. And it looks like the same strategy is being employed over here. Missiles combining with the hoplites here. All it needs is a second unit of infantry just to sneak through this gap. And I think they can stop this, uh, this little ploy that the Illyrians have going on here, but we'll see. And another fight on the walls now taking place. I hope Carthage's men here have run out of ammo as well because they've just run into, it looks like a Scutiari unit, no, an Iberian sword unit here. That's some precious, precious, uh, like, missiles that could be wasted here. I don't know if these Abelix singers would have got off all their ammo to be honest as attackers. We'll see. And there's also another unit here, Cretan Archers. I don't know if they look like they might still have ammo. Yeah, they have a lot of ammo left, I'd imagine, because they've still got their bows out. And they've not really been doing a lot. They've been just staring at the Aravaki for a long time. And there you go. We're going to see Mercenary Samanites going up into the wall. They're going to deal with the Iberian Swords and save this disaster from happening to Carthage and his missiles right. being lost. Yeah. And it looks like I think the same thing was going to be attempted here. Scutiari trying to get these Mercenary Gallic Hunters here. And it's not worked. Vasali has seen it from a mile off and he stopped it from happening. This is looking problematic here though. Um, Illyrian Marines are winning, but I don't know if they're going to be able to hold forever. There are a lot more units around here waiting, but this is definitely looking like the next sort of area that they're going to try and spearhead. Carthage is sending late Libyan hoplites and also looks like some Libyan infantry into that area. And that definitely could be a, p a place to push. The Illyrian uh, Marines here already have 104 kills. Doing well. Still got about half their strength left. This certainly seems like a really strong choke point, but they are pulling troops out of it, are the defenders. Looks like they're sending them elsewhere. 
Yeah, it's really just down to Carthage now. Carthage has most of the men left. Yeah, it's got pikes as well, which obviously can be very important. Are these Peltas? Yeah, they are. They're Vesalian Peltas. So the uh, Javelin unit. And they got charged by the poor Illyrian hoplites here. The noble ones. They are losing. Oh, they were for a moment. There you go. Finally, they're finally going to get rid of the Swordmaster. That's far, I'd say, now is in favor of the defenders, but I still think that they've got a good chance of winning some of the attackers. I mean, the pikes can rack up a lot of kills if used correctly. Gutiario waiting back here. There's a lot of uh, reserves actually on this, uh, sort of in this area. And this uh, Iberian sword. If he can, he just go and take out these Belex things again. Just get him in melee. Stop them from just shooting your Illyrian noble hoplites in the side here. It's what exactly they're trying to do. They're now seeing missiles on the wall there. There. Belex slingers. They're trying to shoot back. And yeah, the player hasn't actually got his full unit of slingers firing. So he's actually going to lose this fight here for sure. And there you go. You need to kind of like uh, edit the line when they're on the wall. You don't just like leave them like so you have half of them looking one way, half of them looking the other. You'll never win that gunfight. There you go. Baelix thing is dueling. And it looks like the Carthaginian ones will lose that. It looks like Swaby's going to go in once again with a Swordmaster as well. They don't like that these uh, Thorio Spears are just throwing javelins at the side of these living infantry. Here come the Javis. Oh, hitting that first line of Iberians very nicely. They're going to go get stuck in other sword masses here. Cut through these Iberians. Do as much damage as possible. And then in they go. It looks like they're now fighting against the, uh, the Illyrians down here. Against the Marines. Hoorah! back actually yes maybe they just don't like that uh, they're getting drawn into this fight a little bit I don't know there you go finally the attackers send in a second unit to try and silence these marines shame it's just a uh, pelter it's not going to do the job got some samonites in there fighting against the Illyrian noble hoplites they might break through these guys especially if they get archer support again the javis are still jabbing away the Lyrian Marine here's up 60 odd kills. Not lost a lot of men either. I'm just gonna keep jabbing away, and this is what you do with RDI, this is how you play them. You hold with the uh, hoplites in one spot, make a nice angle, and just jabby your enemy in pieces. There you go, Samonites are actually losing that fight. So are the Noble Hoplites. But I wonder who's going to give in first. Again, the Swordmasters, they're kind of just disengaging from one unit. Kind of pulling through to get to another, to be honest here. Yeah, they're trying to get these Slave Slingers. So yeah, the Swaby player needs to make sure that he's not doing that. Oh, let's try and get there. Let's get a few shots. The Swordmaster's going to die anyway. Oh, she's got 168 kills. Doing well. Didn't need to pull through. He was gonna. He was killing a lot of these sort of Illyrian Marines, and Iberian swords. Here. Anyway, we're gonna see a cap charge now for Massalius General. I think he's gonna go for a side charge, and it ended up being kind of more of a frontal charge into the uh, Illyrian General there. RDI's General, a very heavy spear unit. It's gonna eat up this cap, and again, he's definitely pulled through. That is a shame. A shame to see that. Yeah, side cap. Pulling through, going after all these archers here. The Nubian bows, a very nice target to go after. So yeah, that's unfortunate because there's no point otherwise defending. The uh, the Illyrian like hoplite was very much in the way of that cav unit and he just pulled through to try and get it. The noble cav here is now trying to sign some. It might get uh, Messiah's general, but if he takes out a couple of these archers, that's a big win for the attackers. They won't care. Pikes now being committed. Pikes are being committed. We've got Bel Air Singers on the wall over here. 
They are shooting up those pikes as much as possible. Only one loss so far. They're going to need to start focusing these guys down a little bit more. The pikes being sent in. Shows the last throw of the dice and both phalanxes are in here on this flank. These are really, uh, these are painted warriors. Oh, cool. They're jabbing as much as possible into these pikemen as they should. They should just give ground, just keep giving ground. If this Greek Scorpion's here as well, he's trying to probably shoot into those uh, pikemen. Just do as much damage as you can. The Salius General is still... Uh, well, it has just died, actually. I was going to say, it's just recently died. Uh, it just says they have managed to take out a couple of these arch units by the looks of it. Uh, RDI's General is still very much alive, and they need to keep them that way because they still have a fair few troops to RDI. The Scutiari, for instance, is fighting on the front lines here. fight around the Colosseum continues. He's got the Scutiari here, battling against the Libyan infantry and the Samurai warriors. They're trying to break on through. Swaby's general being thrown in a wooden as spears here. A last throw of the dice from the Swaby. See whether they can make their way through. Spear unit here. They're not too bad on the attack, but and with 122 kills, which kind of proves their worth. But yeah, trying to break on through against these Illyrian marines. And again, it looks like Valyrian Noble Hoplites here holding on. That general there looks like he's been pretty battered. I don't know what happened to him. I thought he was in fairly decent condition. Again, the Swivy player trying to pull out of a combat. He's, trying, he's got the uh, Carthaginians now in there. And he's pulled out and he's trying to flank the Aravaki here. Trying to unlock that choke point there for his Carthaginian allies. And it seems like this Kutiari... They're getting, they're getting resupplied by more Scutiari, so that should be fine. We've got Bear Lake's thing is fighting on the wall here against Gallic Hunters. The Battle of the Skirmish is there. You can see here the Wooden has Spears. They're fighting off against, it looks like, uh, well, they're about to die, it seems, so Scutiari. I think them pulling out of combat lost them a lot of troops, and I think that's what's cost Swaby there. He ended up only getting a few, a few like more kills. It seems after that uh, withdraw, which is also kind of an advance. But as you can see here, it looks like the Samurai's going in the fresh unit here. They should get through these uh, Iberians. All of these, to be honest, these are really good units. Uh, the general has recently died for the Aravaki. Uh, I don't know where he just died. I guess maybe over here might have been where it was uh, taking place. There has been a bit of a counter fun to, oh yeah, there we go, the Aravaki General's in here. He's been fighting against the uh, General's bodyguard, and it seems here yeah, these counter offenses have cost Aravaki its general. This might now cost them their morale and the army, we'll see. We're also seeing a nice little move there from the Egyptian player, flanking around with his uh, 30 odd spears and should finish off these late Libyan hot fights there. You can see Scutiari, they're going in. They're going to take on these early Cretan archers and kill them off. Libyan infantry also being killed off, and the Samites are going in as well. And I think this is the last throw of the dice. I think that with the attackers making offensive now, they clearly think they got the odds to win this one. Painted ones here, fighting against the Samites. But I think, yeah, it's, it's just too little now left for Carthage. He tried his last throw of the dice. These Samites here, these healthy ones, are kind of all that's left of his. His army, his general's bodyguard here is doing cycle charges against Cretans, now falling back. Looks like he's getting ready to do another one. But that's all they got really left is just archers and a couple of melee units down here. And it looks like if that general dies, which he might do in a minute, uh, he's... Oh yeah, there you go, general has recently died for Carthage. I think that might be uh, the morale for Carthage about to go as well. Can't imagine they'll hold on. Army losses and just the general being lost. That'll, that'll be the final nail in the coffin there. For Carthage. And there you go. That is a GG there for the defenders. They held on, but only just. And it was certainly a costly victory, as the screen says there. We'll end the replay and have a quick look at the end results. This was sent in by Rabbit, who was playing as one of the RDI players. So, uh, yeah.
Yeah, I mean, you got 142 kills here with his Illyrian Noble uh, Hoplites here, then 119 and 131 with the uh, other Noble Hoplites. They did pretty well. His Slave Slingers uh, got like 83 kills, and he got 125 with the Illyrian Hoplites here, 124 with the Illyrian Marines, 209 with another one as well. Then he's got 122 kills with Thurio Spears, and his uh, Celtic Warriors getting 129. And he's uh, got his ally here, Egypt, playing... Played by a uh, Spoon Cavalry, got 181 kills with the Royal Thorax Swords, 130 kills with the Greek Scorpion, 190 with the Cretan Archers, 206 with the Cretan Archers there, 106 with the Nubian Bows, uh, Thorax Swords getting 114, 190 with the Thorax Swordsman, 125 with another one there as well. And then he's got Decibel playing as the final uh, defender, the Aravaki, 138 with the Noble Cavalry, 222 with the Barrel Slinger, 242 with another Barrel Slinger there. And there's Iberian Swords getting 186 kills, 100 kills there with the Iberians, 141 with another, 128 with the Scutiari, 164 and 183 as well. And with uh, Corn Pop playing as the uh, Carthaginian Army uh, on the attack, getting 155 kills, 154 with the Cretan Archers. Uh, his pikes, yeah, not really doing too much, getting just focused down and killed, I think, by the uh, barrel eggs. And then he's got 127 kills with the Libyan infantry. And then his Samnites getting, yeah, 99. Oof, I thought these guys would get more, but they did not. Then we've got Nuggets playing as Massalia. 297 uh, kills with his Massalia and Cavalry there as his general. And then he's got a uh, Gallic Hunter here with 137 kills. Uh, 106 kills with his Massalia and Thuria Spears. 185 with the Thorax Swords down here. Um, yeah, I think that's the best of the bunch. You spammed these guys out. A few of them did pretty well. Some of them not so well. Then we have uh, Sander playing as the Swaby. 168 kills with the Wooden Ad Spears here. 118 kills with the German Giant Ballista. Uh, Kimberly Bow Women getting 179, 158. Zerks getting 158 kills as well. And then the uh, Blood Swarm getting 174 kills. Uh, I think is the best of the bunch. And then his club levy, 96 kills. And then the sword mass is getting 161, 255 kills. And there you go, guys. That is today's Rome 2 Siege Battle. If you did enjoy, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.